Narrow uh, view. Uh, and it's uh, and like, the, like this novel, I, I, uh, like Chad says, he, he, I, I call it a, a chamber novel. It's, uh, I, I just like that idea. I would like to, to write more uh, uh, stories of that sort. Like uh, recently, I, 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 I was commissioned to write a, a, a play for a, a theater in, in, in Reykjavik. Uh, and I wrote the play, and, and when I had written it, uh, I, I found out that it was a, it was a story. And, uh, and I'm, now I'm in the process of uh, turning it into a story. And it just takes place in, in, a, in, a, in a summer house. And I like that, I just be uh, having the characters in, this, in the same place where they can't really escape, escape or just, they have to be there. And, and from that, I mean, from that limited uh, state, uh, it, it, it affects the, what they are doing, like this, you call, uh, like in, in Pinter or, or, or Olpi, like, uh, for example, the Sioux story. It's a, like a power, uh, power struggle. Like uh, the one person is trying to uh, push the other off the, the bench. It's like mm -hmm. he needs. The, it's a struggle for uh, Lebensraum. <laughs> uh, a gentleman at the back. Yeah, well, actually, it, it has connection with other things in, in the novel because uh, uh, I mentioned, uh, which of course you didn't know what I was talking about, uh, because Harvard, uh, the visitor, he brings uh, in a plastic bag two things <clears throat> from, uh, from their uh, mutual past five years ago. He brings uh, uh, the first edition of uh, Moby Dick by Melville uh, and, and, uh, and a uh, a ship made of wood, the, the ship Essex, uh, the whaler. Uh, so, uh, because he stole them uh, from this flat they were uh, living in, in London. The, uh, it, it, it's a bit adventurous to have him stealing like the first edition of Moby Dick, but uh, I don't know how many copies are, are, are existing of that book, but, uh, but that has a, yeah, a connection. Uh, so it's, not totally out of the blue, that I call them. Uh, I call them Ahab and, and Moby and Dick. Yeah. And maybe time for one last question, if anybody has uh, anything else that they're, they're curious about. Well, I, I'll finish with one of my own then, if, if nobody minds, which is uh, I, there is uh, one other way of reading this book is to note the musical references and then to go out and buy the CDs and have all of your musical listening for the next year uh, lined up. Um, so uh, how are you picking the music that, that, that people were putting on? Were they favorites of yours or did it seem to fit the atmosphere of each scene? Yeah, probably all of them are favorites uh, of mine. Uh, uh, and the, I mean, it's uh, just to remind the reader that it's, it's a chamber novel. I use uh, a chamber music from Mahler, who was not known for making uh, much chamber music. Uh, it's a piece which he wrote when he was 16 years old, and, and it's a beautiful piano quartet. Uh, and, and I used that, and, and I used some jazz music, and, and uh, then Elvis Presley. And Elvis Presley I used because uh, it just suddenly came to my mind that in, in connection with the, the rabbit, uh, I used uh, uh, a line from Hound Dog. Uh, you ain't never caught a rabbit and you ain't no friend of mine. But I use that. But, uh, but then I use some, yeah, some titles that maybe uh, have some, have got something to do with what's happening, like uh, Mysterious Traveler and, and uh, Big Fun and Lonely Fire and Miles Davis. Right. Yeah. But it's nothing, I mean, it's nothing serious. I mean, it's, it's just just to add some color. Right. So, well, thank you very much for, for reading for us and for being in conversation with us. And I do recommend, if anybody hasn't uh, got a copy of this book, uh, buy it. And I, I, I first read it. I'd been organizing the translation conference with Chad. And 
I'd been sort of on the go for 13 hours, and I, I took a galley home with me and opened it, and I was somehow on the go for many more hours after that, because I, I couldn't put it down. So I, I really recommend it. Uh, Bragi Olivson. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks.